Spoiler alert. Ghostbusters has been spoiled. Spoiled with political correctness. Oh, come on, Gavin. It's just women, what, women can't take the role in the new Ghostbuster movie. You and I both know that's what happened. You and I both know it was agenda-driven. It was about making chicks badasses. Yeah! And it sounds good on paper. How come there's no Eskimo James Bond? You, well, let's make him an Eskimo. Yeah, okay. But when you say, hey, let's make chicks Ghostbusters, I know you're not just going to have a couple women who happen to be funny, like Melissa McCarthy and Kristen Wiig. I know you're going to jump in Leslie Jones because she's black and... and Chris, uh, what's the other one? Uh, Kate McKinnon, she's a lesbian. Let's get them all in there and let's make sure that we purport this mythical stereotype that women kick ass and take names and are super brave and see ghosts and go, yeah. I predicted this a year ago. Uh, I said that this movie would suck. I said women are scared of spiders in a bathtub and to make them kick ass and take names is an out and out lie. And you could tell by the poster with this crap. God. Dudes don't even stand like that. Rappers st stood like that for maybe a, a nine-month period. Few albums, Run DMC, that's about it. Why are you standing like that? But they make this movie uh, that I... Oh, well, let me just show you that I said this, just so it's on the record. 670,000 views. I told you so. Women are scared of ghosts. Sorry. They are scared of a spider in the bathtub. They don't go like this when the ghost from the library comes up at them. They scream their heads off and run out of the room. And you should see the way men are portrayed in this movie. At the, you know the beginning of the first Ghostbusters, or maybe, yeah, the first Ghostbusters where there was only been one, right? Yeah. The, the librarian thing. That, no, there's been two. There's been two. The libra Sorry, nerds. The, the librarian thing comes out and the woman goes, Aah! In this, it's a man, right? <laughs> And he poos his pants. He defecates in his pants. They really dwell on that for a long time, and he's denying it. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. You said, there goes my pants. And no, 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 that wasn't me. Uh, no, it was pretty clear it was you. And then the woman are sitting there going, <laughs> what a loser. I bet he did poo his pants. Like, and then, of course, when they see a ghost, they're just fascinated. Yeah. I believe that. The first time you've ever seen a ghost, you go, hmm, it's an ectoplasmic form. Uh, and then they use all their fake scientific jargon. This was especially ridiculous when the black woman saw the ghost. Sorry, but I've seen black women see street magic, and they're not exactly calm. Did you see it? No. Did you feel it? When Leslie Jones sees a guy who was killed on the electric chair a hundred years ago float up, she just goes, ah, hell no, and stares at him for a while before she eventually runs away. Yeah, right. You know, when you do this, when you say, I'm going to put multiculturalism, gender, diversity, gayness, all this stuff first, what you're saying is, I'm putting meritocracy last, or at least not in the top spot. My friend Charles C. Johnson has been betting on the stock market against any company that announces a diversity initiative. Not because he thinks diversity is bad, but because he knows when you hear of any initiative, like an albino initiative or a people with a BO initiative, you're not putting meritocracy at the top of the list and your company's going to do bad. And the guy's made a fortune betting against people who put PC at the top of the list and he would have made a fortune if he bet on Ghostbusters sucking because it does. One of the weirdest parts of this movie is a himbo played by Thor, the guy who does Thor. And I guess they're getting revenge for Suzanne Somers in uh, Three's Company, but they have this himbo who's so dumb that he took the lenses out of his glasses because they were getting too dirty. What? And whenever there's a loud noise, he plugs his eyes. He puts his fingers over his eyes. They do this joke several times, even though it's not funny at all. And uh, no one is that dumb. I mean, the guy was way, way below Down syndrome. But they hire him anyway because he's a hunk. He's a himbo. And the way Kristen Wiig talks around him, she goes, like Jackie Gleason when he's on TV on The Honeymooners. She just can't talk. I know some hunks. I, I've, I've, in fact, I started an ad agency, Rooster New York, with a gorgeous babe. Uh, women don't do that around hunks. They just sort of go, hmm. And then you find out four days later that she finds him incredibly attractive. They don't go, ah, you're hired. 
This is all men. This whole construct, this whole idea of women being a badass and kicking ass and taking names is a male thing. And the irony is, I think women gobble it up because, sorry, they tend to be subservient and they tend to be easily led. By men. So the Paul Feigs of the world, who, by the way, won't shut up about how I don't think men are funny. Women are funnier. Yeah, a woman can do circle kicks. Yeah, Angelina Jolie can beat up SEAL Team Six. Sure, sure, sure. They get fed that and they go, Yeah, I am a badass. By the way, have you noticed this feminist concept of badass involves women giving up sex, giving away milk for free, and you never have to buy the cow? Isn't that odd? Isn't it odd it involves things like bra burning where we can see your pendulous breasts bounce around? We are the ones who came up with this stupid, idiotic feminist ideal of women kicking ass and taking names and being dudes. Crappy dudes. So anyway, this film goes on. It's incredibly bad. And then at the end, spoiler alert, I'm, I'm spoiling the movie just the same way Paul Feig did. So the guy becomes a giant ghost. The ghost logo. They choose that and he goes, okay, I'll be that. And the evil form, the marshmallow man of this particular one, right? He becomes a giant ghost that they have to shoot. And by the way, we lost the plot here. It just seems to be about that women kick ass and men are stupid. There's no other plot. The originals were about the government being inept and how it, they were libertarian anthems, really, about how don't listen to the EPA, don't let people get in your way, you can do it, don't let people doubt you. This was all just men are himbos and women kick ass. So anyway, at the very end, this big monster shows up, and you know how they defeat him? They shoot him in the balls. <laughs> Four tracks. Meanwhile, Slimer, by the way, has a girlfriend with blonde hair. They're off somewhere in a car making out, and they're shooting a monster in the balls. You know where the himbo was during this time? The himbo was getting a sandwich. At the apocalypse. He missed the apocalypse. He missed the ghost getting shot in the balls because he was going to get a sandwich. Men don't do that. And ghosts don't have balls. We don't have a problem with you making Ghostbusters into chicks. We have a problem with you making chicks into men. Did you like that? Okay, check it out. I got a whole comedy show called How's It Going, Eh? You just have to click right here to subscribe.